Hi everyone. Today let's investigate Aboriginal toys. A learning intention is to understand that Aboriginal people explored through play how movement can be initiated by combining materials and using forces. A success criteria will be that you can create your own Aboriginal toy, create your own game and share it on Seesaw. Aboriginal toys were designed to amuse and educate children and also to prepare them for adulthood. Here is a ball that's made from dried grass and combined and compounded together with strong plant fibre. Here's some examples of some spinning toys. You might see a turtle there. These are pandanus balls. They're plaited together and played for like a keeping off game or keeping the ball juggling in the air. Toy boomerangs were also used by children all over Australia, often made by the children themselves and easily carved. They're used to hunt small animals, have games which they throw boomerangs at the body and deflect them with their shields, um, long distance competitions, or even have markers on the ground and like a bit of a target game. Pandanus leaves, especially in Northern Australia, were used to make toys. Leaf games were used, imaginary play, like playing with dolls um, to represent different members of families. Uh, this is a stingray from Northern Australia, Groot Island. Um, Let's have a go at making our own pandanus propeller. That was the one that really grabbed my attention. First, you'll need some strips of paper. Now, once you've cut out these strips, fold over the ends, overlap them, just like you see me doing in this picture here. We thread through that little spot. We leave a little loop there, just a little loop there. We're going to fold over our other tail through here. Once we get that through, we'll start to just pull that through a little bit tighter. Play around here until you, you'll know when you're getting it right. I'm just having a little adjustment. I'll get this piece in. Tighten those up. Now I'm just using paper here. I don't have any pandanus leaves around. You might have a go if you've got long strips of bark around your house. I didn't, so I've used some paper. Now I want to get my edges about the same length to try and keep it balanced for when I get it to spin. I want each of these blades of our propeller to be about an equal length. So I'm just going through here to trim those off. If you find this is going a bit fast, you can always pause and go back to the point. You could use it to throw and flick and fling around or you can create a hole, be careful here you don't hurt your finger or poke all the way through. You can see I've made a small little dent there. Now this leftover piece of paper, I'm going to do one fold lengthways, then one more fold lengthways. What I'm going to do is then, once I've got that all folded out nice and smooth, now I'm just going to cut a point at the end make a bit of a spike at the end there and you'll probably guess what I'm going to do next you may I'm going to use that tip just to balance my pandanus propeller on there have some success flinging that around give it another go oh no good there uh, you know I think I'll give it one more go I think I could probably make my hole there a little bit bigger let's just give this another go no, no success. What can I do to I'm testing it? I want to think about what I'm doing. Okay, let's get my scissors. I'll make a, a bigger hole there. I've pushed my hole all the way through so that my propeller can really sit on my little handle there. That's a bit more successful. Okay. Yep, feeling pretty confident with that one. Absolutely. So there you have it. My propeller. My wonder what games you could create with your propeller. Long distance, longest flight time, target landing. I found my resources here at the Australian Museum site. Check it out. It's really interesting information. Enjoy. Good luck. I'd love to see what you can share on Seesaw. Good luck, guys.